Fifth generation fighters changed the world, but now we're experiencing a new shift when the price of a single F-35 fighter, the most advanced jet in the skies today, could transform the entire drone industrial base, getting us to the volumes that provide critical mass and drive costs down with capability up. But what do we know about this exchange? According to the latest assessment by the Government Accountability Office, or GAO, the F-35 program will cost more than $2 trillion during its lifetime. This astounding cost makes it the most expensive defense program in recent history and one of the most expensive in military history in general. Specifically, the GAO report estimates $1.6 trillion in sustainment costs, which include operational demands and maintenance. This is about 45% higher than the previous estimate in 2018 of $1.1 trillion. It also estimates approximately $445 billion in acquisition costs, which include development and procurement of the stealth fighter jet. One of the main reasons for the hefty half a trillion dollars increase in sustainment costs is the fact that the U.S. military plans to operate the F-35 fighter for an additional decade or until 2088. Another reason is the higher inflation and the F-35 program's cost might further increase in the near future. Lockheed Martin and the F-35 Joint Program Office have tried to bring costs down, but without significant success. However, is this price justified? The F-35, despite controversy, boasts one of the safest records in fighter jet history. Only 13 aircraft have been lost in nearly 800,000 flight hours worldwide over 10 years. Crashes resulted from various causes. Mechanical issues, at least five. Operator error, at least five. And one pilot disorientation incident. The most serious incident involving an F-35 was a 2019 crash that involved a Japan Air Self-Defense Force F-35A. The aircraft simply disappeared during a training flight, and the conclusion was that the pilot became disoriented and flew into the Pacific Ocean. The incident would have been prevented by the new Automatic Ground Collision Avoidance System, or Auto GCAS software installed on F-35s shortly after the incident which monitors the plane in flight and takes over from the pilot if it senses the aircraft is about to fly into the ground. The new Auto GCAS software is expected to prevent 26 future crashes. As of March 2024, the F-35 crash rate is 1.6 per 100,000 flight hours, with 0.73 injuries and 0.12 fatalities per 100,000 hours. This is significantly safer than historical fighters like the F-86 Sabre, 44.17 crashes per 100,000 hours, and F-100 Super Sabre, 21.22 crashes per 100,000 hours. It's even safer than modern planes, the F-16, 3.39 crashes per 100,000 hours, F-15, 2.31 crashes per 100,000 hours, and C-17, 0.97 crashes per 100,000 hours. Despite 13 crashes seeming high, the F-35 is exponentially safer than the F-86 and twice as safe as the F-16, making it indisputably very safe to fly. And it's all thanks to its advanced technologies, giving F-35 the title of the most advanced fighter jet. The F-35 Lightning II is an American family of single-seat, single-engine, all-weather stealth multi-role combat aircraft capable of air superiority, strike missions, electronic warfare, and intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. Its versatility is made possible in large part by a combination of advanced stealth, powerful engines, intelligent avionics, and lethal armament. But the F-35 Lightning II isn't just one aircraft and isn't intended to replace just one aircraft. The F-35 comes in three versions, A, B, and C. Although they are essentially the same aircraft in terms of capabilities, each is designed differently to meet the different demands of the U.S. military services. 
Essentially, Lockheed Martin designed three different aircraft in one, and that is reflected in some of the costs. The F-35A is the conventional takeoff and landing aircraft that operates from runways. This is the version used by the Air Force and most of the 19 countries that comprise the F-35 program. The F-35B is the short takeoff, vertical landing or stovel version of the aircraft and can take off and land like a helicopter, but still fly like a fighter jet. This version is used by the U.S. Marine Corps as well as several foreign partners. Finally, the F-35C is the aircraft carrier version of the aircraft and is designed to withstand the extreme pressures of carrier operations. This iteration is used only by the U.S. Navy and Marine Corps. In addition, the three versions of the F-35 Lightning II are going to replace several older aircraft, including the A-10 Warthog Close Air Support Aircraft, AV-88 Harrier Stovall Fighter Jet, and also possibly the F-16. As such, they include capabilities that would normally be spread over several aircraft and gain unique capabilities. Advanced Stealth The F-35 heavily relies on its stealth capabilities, which Lockheed Martin made sure to develop to jaw-dropping standards. Its manufacturers aligned its edges, serrated its skin panels, and masked the engine with easy-to-maintain fiber mat skin for low observability. They also reduced infrared and visual signatures, enabled the reflection of radar waves, and used strict controls of radio frequency emitters, all playing their role in preventing aircraft detection and contributing to the F-35's ultra-tiny radar cross-section that's lower than that of a metal golf ball. This enables the fighter to strike targets without being spotted by advanced anti-aircraft missile defense systems such as the S-300 and S-400. In fact, only conspicuous, susceptible to clutter, imprecise, low-frequency radars are able to detect the F-35 with relative ease due to a phenomenon known as Rayleigh scattering. But again, these radars are conspicuous, susceptible to clutter, and imprecise. Powerful Engines On the F-35 is a single Pratt & Whitney F-135 low-bypass augmented turbofan that provides 43,000 lbf of thrust with afterburners, thrusting the jet to a top speed of Mach 1.6. And while that's 20% slower than the Mach 2 top speed of the Russian 5th generation Su-57 fighter, it was reasonable for the F-35 to make this sacrifice of speed for even more stealth. Because stealth, to a great degree, as hinted earlier, defines the advancements of 5th generation over previous fighter generations. The engines on the F-35 are made stealthy by featuring a low observable afterburner that incorporates fuel injectors into thick, curved veins. These veins are covered by ceramic radar absorbent materials and they mask the turbine. Furthermore, the F-35's low observable axisymmetric nozzle consists of 15 partially overlapping flaps that create a sawtooth pattern at the trailing edge which reduces radar signature and creates shed vortices that reduce the infrared signature of the exhaust plume. Intelligent Avionics The F-35 is able to sense data lightning quick via an array of highly sensitive sensors, including the AN-APG-81 Active Electronically Scanned Array Radar, the AN-ASQ-239 Barracuda Electronic Warfare System, the AN-AAQ-37 Distributed Aperture System, the AN-AAQ-40 Electro-Optical Targeting System, and the AN-ASQ-242 Communications, Navigation, and Identification Suite. These all combine to provide rapid beam agility, all-aspect missile launch and target tracking, 10 radio frequency antennas, all-aspect radar warning receiver, self-defense against missiles, the detection and jamming of hostile radars, laser targeting, infrared capabilities, and an impossible level of sensor fusion that give the pilot an omnipresent tactical picture of the battle space without compromising stealth. Keeping these avionics running as efficiently as they do is some top secret software running on a shocking 8.6 million lines of code. Lethal Armament the F-35 wields a 180-round, 25-millimeter GAU-22A four-barrel rotary cannon. 
The gun is more effective against ground targets than the 20mm cannon carried by other U.S. Air Force fighters. In terms of explosives, the F-35 wields the longest array of long-range, medium-range, and short-range missiles along with bombs that hunt down their prey hungrily. To carry these explosives and still maintain its stealth shaping, the F-35 has two internal weapons bays with four weapons stations that can carry 5,700 pounds of weapons in total. For missions where stealth isn't of topmost priority, the F-35 has six external weapon stations that can carry 15,000 pounds of weapons. So in total, the F-35 has a hefty payload capacity of 18,000 pounds. And that's not even including the flares, chaff, and towed decoys. With all these capabilities in the bag, the F-35 is as complete as they come. This explains why Japan has integrated the fighter into everywhere it could be integrated into, building an entire F-35 ecosystem in the country. All of the capabilities are an impressive package to pay off $2 trillion. But what if the market would choose a simple and cheap option over power and complexity? Ukraine has opened a lot of people's eyes. Millions of dollars worth of drones are destroying billions of dollars of Russian hardware while also providing vital ISR, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. Ukraine uses drones for reconnaissance and directing artillery fire, and the fleets of home-built FPV kamikazes decimating Russian armor. Ukrainian forces started a trend towards large 8 to 10 inch FPVs with multi-kilo payload support and up to 20 kilometer range and that's the sort of capability likely to define the modern battlefield. Last year, inspired by the tank-killing $400 FPV kamikazes flown by Ukrainian forces, the U.S. Army announced the Low Altitude Stalking and Strike Ordnance, or LASSO, a portable anti-tank drone. There is one big difference between LASSO and the Ukrainian version, though. A close look at the Army's budget documents reveals that a single lasso drone will cost an eye-watering $200,747. At that price, it is not surprising the Army is only buying 437 lassos in the whole 2025 fiscal year. Whereas Ukraine is making and using around 3,000 FPV kamikazes per day. America also has Aerovironment Switchblade 300 anti-personnel drone, which comes in at over $50,000, and its big brother, the Switchblade 600, is around four times as much. But demand for cheap and effective drones is getting even higher. A single F-35 fighter costs around $100 million, and the Pentagon is buying thousands. For the price of one of those fighters, the U.S. could kickstart mass production of small drones at low cost. In the future, the number and quality of drones in the air may be vastly more important than the number of boots on the ground or trillion-dollar fighter jets. But for now, the F-35 fighter is a crucial part of America's response to threats, ensuring that peace is maintained and requesting that you subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. So do that now, and thanks for watching.